Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video of some of the footage that I had of an unfinished tea set that I was painting. Um, this is kind of how I start out my tea sets with a sharpie that's similar in color to the paint that I'll be using um, to kind of give myself a layout when I go over to paint. Uh, the first few tea sets that I did, I didn't do this and it took so much longer and it was just a really big headache to try to get all the proportions correct before I started painting, so this uh, technique worked a lot better. Plus, if I make a mistake, I can just erase it, um, which tends to happen a lot. Um, that way I don't have to erase the whole painting, just the outline. Um, I ended up not having as much footage as I thought. I don't have any footage of me painting it, but at the end of this video I do have what the finished product looks like. Um, these tea sets were really fun for me to make. I was making them for a really long time. Um, I don't know how many I ended up making, but they were a really big hit and they were really fun and meant a lot to me. I have since retired them because I just, they, they took so long and you know, once I did a certain amount, the kind of, I don't know, excitement for them was gone and I didn't want to start hating them. Um, I wanted to keep them good in my head, so. And here's the final look. Um, I was really, really proud of this one. It was one of the first ones that I had a had used the templates for. So as you can see, the whole set comes with the four cups and four plates that all have kind of Hogwarts designs. It's got each house has a cup, and then um, there are plates that go along with them, and. This is easily one of the coolest projects that I've ever worked on and I'm really proud of them and to all the people who have a set, um, I hope that you like them and they're a cherished part of your home. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I always love sharing a little bit of Harry Potter magic with you guys because it means so much to me. And um, hopefully in the future I have something up my sleeve similar to this that I can get excited about all over again. Um, and with that, I will see you guys tomorrow.